Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, um, a newly started channel that I started this week actually. Um, for my first video I wanted to do a period build, so what I mean by that is a build inspired by a certain era or a build that would have been built in a certain era in real life. And the build that I decided on eventually was a 70s Palm Spring American, that kind of build. And um, I grew up watching a lot of television, um, a lot of older television because my parents were older. And these kind of builds always cropped up and it's a, a very it's a very nostalgic sort of feel, very Hollywood, very old Hollywood. And um, so I decided to do a 70s build that someone maybe moved into, renovated a bit, but try to keep it true to its original feeling. Um, and that doesn't mean carpet in the bathroom, it just means um, a sort of the architecture of the time. It was very low down, very sunny, it was all about, you know, the simple and majestic and sort of classy. I struggled with the roof of this build intensely and my girlfriend had to come and help me eventually because I was struggling, bitch. Um, sorry for the cursing. Um... And besides that, I eventually figured it out. But it is a longer build. It is my first video. I am trying very hard to make my videos a little bit shorter, but more concise. But this is a long one, and it is my first one. So therefore, I thought I could maybe do a get to know me tag and talk about who I am and what I want this channel to be like and, and what my goal is moving forward. So in a lot of the 70s builds, I saw there would be sort of one accent wall and I was trying to figure out what kind of stone would look best there. And I eventually settled on a sort of grey stone, trying to keep it more neutral. And um, instead of sort of the stones that would have been indigenous to the area, which would probably have been a more red stone. But regardless, that's what I chose. So the first question in the Get to Know Me tag is, what is your full name? My name is Kayla. I always make the joke that I am the lesser famous Kayla that's playing Sims, um, obviously because of Little Simsy. But my name is Kayla. It was uh, given to me by my mom because her name is Karen and people used to call her Kay. So for some reason she decided that I was going to be called Kayla. Um, what does your name mean? It means absolutely nothing. It means I'm white, basically. It's a nice white girl name. Um, it doesn't mean anything. I think in Hebrew it means close to God or she is like God. But as someone that doesn't see that it's very important, it doesn't really mean much. Um, if you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? Oh my goodness. If I had to change it, of course, I, like many other people, went through an emo phase. And during my emo phase, I wanted to be called August. And that is the name I would change it to. I wouldn't change it now. I did want to for a while, but um, I'm not going to change it. <laughs> it's the one my mom gave me. And out of respect to her, I won't change it. But um, for a while, I did want to. And I was going to change it to August. Where are you from? I'm from um, South Africa, Cape Town. Um, and I was born here as well in a very small town, which I won't tell you the name of because it probably won't matter. Um and I went to school in another very small town in, 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 in South Africa. And it says, who did you look up to growing up? I always find that question really hard. I don't think I looked up to anyone. I really enjoyed reading. I read very voraciously as a kid, which a lot of people can probably identify with. did a lot of reading and I looked up to people in books mostly. Um, so every single person that I ever admired in a book, I imitated them so I'm just a cocktail of a million characters um so I'm having a look at these questions some of them are quite personal are your grandparents still married yes my grandparents are still married they've been married for since my grand was 19 and my grandpa was 18 and they are honestly the cutest people in this world they love each other so much. My grandpa is probably one of my big inspirations. He is insanely clever. They He didn't have a lot of money growing up, so he couldn't really go to university, but he studied night college and he became a mechanical engineer and he helped me with maths. Not that it helped at all because I'm terrible at maths, but 
he helped me with maths and he is so funny and he always had an answer to all my millions of questions and my gran is very kind and gentle and she is the best baker you will find so yes my grandparents are still together and they're very happily married um what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender um the opposite gender probably something like michael something very bland and white <laughs> sorry mom but something very bland um on screen i'm seeing how i had this idea to do this sort of little this little cactus garden um i really like the idea of keeping the gardening you know eco-friendly and indigenous you know in this sort of area they wouldn't really have the money or the water bowl to be having these magnificent water thirsty gardens um so i wanted to make something that was very water friendly and i know i don't know about other places i think in california there was a lot of drought but in south africa we had a big water drought and a lot of people completely changed their gardens to more water friendly gardens because water is a very very expensive resource not only that it's a very limited resource a lot of people are trying to figure out ways to still have the beauty of a garden but something that's a bit more friendly towards their budget and the earth which i think is really cool and um, in areas like this having a garden like this simply just makes sense and it also looks really cute i really like the little the little cacti and um, i really liked the little tall um, um what do you call it the tall cactus he's quite cute um i don't know why i gendered him but he's a he to me um so it says who's your favorite actor or actress my favorite actress i don't really watch movies that much as i said i'm more of a series or a reading girl but i must say i do enjoy kira knightley I do enjoy the two men in Bridget Jones's Diary. They're really old now, but I enjoyed their movies, especially because both of them often played in period movies, which I am definitely a watcher of. I love period movies. Um, if you see on screen here, I'm making the little, little um garden, and I forget that when you make um when you make a room like that, it has a roof. And only later on in the build do I realize there's a random floating roof and I do fix it, I promise. But that's another little thing that I think as time goes by, as I as I broaden this channel, I will get better at. Um, so in the front, I wanted to do another little garden, like in the back, sort of like a reflection of that one. And I was trying to figure out how to do it attached to the house, but not with a foundation. And I couldn't figure it out. So if you can, if you know how to, please let me know in the comments. Um, and I will be so grateful. Um, so now I'm trying to find, I used light, the Cheat Live Edit objects. It allows you to, um, or show hidden objects. It allows you to see some objects that they may be used in the game, some hidden objects. It gives you a lot more options, especially with plants, um, which I really like. So I just put cute little buttons. I, I love to call them little button cactuses because they look like little little buns, little dumplings. And um, that's what I did in the front. Here you see me trying to figure out what I'm going to do here because... Um, I planned in the build to make that a big glass wall, which I do eventually do, but I didn't want something that was too distracting. Um, but I end up doing a sort of another little um, aloe garden and um, it looks really nice in the end, I think. Um, throughout this build, if you have any critiques or you think anything I could do better, please let me know. Um, as I said, I haven't been building that long, um, maybe for three or four years and across lots of platforms. I mean, the first time I ever built was in The Sims 3 and it was when I was in grade 11, which was, I don't know how old, I was still in my teens. Um, I'm 20, turning 21 this year and um, I grew up in a family where technology was not really important we had one tv i didn't have a cell phone until i was in high school um so i didn't really have the sims and i didn't interact with the sims at all um until that year and i really loved it and i think i've been building ever since my girlfriend always laughs at me because we've been together since we were that young and it was her game that i was playing on and i would be stuck there for days and days and days building this very mediocre build and I was so proud of it and you know what I should have been because it really inspired me to carry on building 
And now I try and just get better and better and better by watching people that are better than me and by just experimenting. That's honestly all that can help in the end. Um, so here I'm building the um, windows. I do use CC content for these because I haven't found that um, EA has come out with, with, with windows that are so flawlessly modern and also just seamless because um, that's what we need in builds. I really enjoyed using this window. I have never used this window before, but I really feel that in this build, it fit perfectly. Um, and then now I'm just doing the lights um, for the front door, which um, if you if you do want to um, keep your game CC free, a lot of the time if you download a build that has CC in it, it'll just replace it with something that it thinks is appropriate. So that's a way for people who don't want to use CC, maybe that have slower laptops or uh, working from a laptop, to keep their keep their game running smooth. Um, speaking of keeping it running smooth, this game crashed quite a few times. Um, it crashed because I was still trying to figure out how to move the camera in the best way, how to keep it so people watching it weren't having an epileptic fit watching me switch through different angles, um, which I do do. I'm very sorry. Um, I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. And um, yeah, I'm just figuring it out here. So I'm trying to figure out what kind of door I want. I end up changing it quite a few times. Apologies. Um, because I want I want this sort of seamless, whereas the doors in um that EA has, you can see where it's a sliding door and it sticks out and it's a bit ugly. And um I was trying to figure that out. And um here we see that I'm trying to do that same, like as I said before, the seamless um, around the corner build, which is so prominent in these 70s aesthetics. Um, and um, I've gone back to the door now. As I said, there's a sort of underlying little gap and it's very distracting and not, not what I want at all for my build. Another funny thing is I think I haven't updated my game because every time I go back into this lot, my terrain paint is gone and it is very annoying. And my pool disappears as well. So I put in the pool quite a few times, you'll see later on, um, which is very annoying, but so it is. And there, um, that was me, there was this shiny stuff on the ground. And I was like, what on earth is that? And it was the flowers in the direct sunlight. I thought, how beautiful was that? Here I am adding some patio furniture. I end up going for a very modern feel, which I do reflect on the inside. Something simple and useful. Um, something that looks comfy. Something that you would want to lie on. And um, I say and them too many times. So here we see I'm just putting down some furniture. So maybe I can do a question. So it says, what is your favorite type of clothing? I love vintage style. I used to be... I've gone through a lot of different styles in my life um, in my short 21 years. I've loved Victorian fashion. I've been an emo. I've done goth. I've done, you name it, I've probably done it. Um, I just, I love experimenting with clothes and expressing myself through clothing. It's one of the best things in life, in my opinion. And um, I love the history behind clothing. So recently, well, not recently, I would say past two or three years, I've been doing sort of 1940s, 1930s fashion. and But this year, I would say I've definitely really got into it. And I've been experimenting with my style a lot, which I've been really enjoying, um, especially with my hair and um, with my how I dress and how I carry myself and how I do my makeup and so on. Um, so I've been trying to do that kind of fashion, which... I really enjoy but um if you go through my YouTube um my YouTube watched it's literally just me watching these amazing creative people doing these recreating vintage fashion in such seamless ways. So now I'm moving on to into the interior and um I'm doing just dividing up the rooms. I did struggle with that end piece for a while. My girlfriend came and reminded me that I did indeed have a boarded window which I could use. <laughs> Um, so here I'm making a little passage. Um, I kept in mind that these 70s builds would have been quite curtained off. They would have had little boxes. Um, people in those days didn't really do open plan living. So this was sort of the dawn of that. So I try to keep that in mind. Um, keep the, the living room and the kitchen quite open plan, but the bedrooms were still quite portioned off. 
and this is the point where the kitchen becomes a bit of a debacle. I am constantly moving things around, changing things around, figuring it out. Um, my girlfriend comes in and she and she's giving me some advice on how to do it, and I don't agree with her. And then we change it up, and eventually I decide to just do what I want, <laughs> and I do something really cool. Um, but in light of that, this is going to be a struggle for a while. So let me try and have a look at another question. So it says, what is the name of your favorite restaurant? So in South Africa, there's this chain of restaurants owned by a company called Spur and Panerati's and actual the restaurant called Spur is owned by them. And I bo- I love both of them. And they're not really fancy restaurants. It's sort of a family restaurant. So I think they they give us a lot of nostalgia, something familiar, you know, that you know the menu back to front. And um, I am actually vegetarian. I've been vegetarian since I was 12 or 13. And um, I value that kind of thing very, I think I go out for food, I just expect junk food. I'm not expecting the height of vegetarian cuisine, because then I could just go home and make it myself. But I really enjoy Spur and Panerati's. Panerati's is the other restaurant and they serve very, very good wood-fired pizza. And um, they have amazing gluten-free bases, which are extremely crunchy. So I enjoy going to them. And there's a specific booth in the restaurant, um, in the in the mall that we go to. And at night, it has all these beautiful lights. And um, I like looking down on them and drinking my cherry milkshake and eating my pizza so that would definitely be my favorite restaurant because that is the go-to date night restaurant um for me and my girlfriend um oh I was talking to my girlfriend you see that little pause it was me going um oh it was me deciding which color I wanted which accent color I wanted to make the kitchen so it says, what is your favorite candle scent? Oh, there's this candle scent that I have currently. It's called Summer Rain. It's this beautiful dark blue colored candle. And I haven't even lit it yet. I just took it out the wrapper. And the wind, the breeze from the window flowing over it, it's, it has this beautiful scent. And it's refreshing. Can't really pinpoint what it is. I, I might look back on it and um, see what kind of candle it is. And I'll, I'll, I'll list it in the description if anyone's interested. But yeah, it's called Summer Rain. It's really beautiful. So what was your favorite subject in high school? My favorite subject in high school was probably hands down English or history, which is very funny because now I'm an English and history major to become a high school teacher. And um, I just have a passion for history and English and how people express themselves through history is just this magnificent thing to me. And the human nature as well. It's a beautiful thing. And I enjoy reading about it and experiencing it through history. Hear me, you see me trying to build this little um, coffee nook. It was actually my girlfriend's idea. I um, had never seen something like this before, but it's actually such a good idea. And um, just figuring out the shelving and, and maybe somewhere that you could store your crockery, your extra glasses, that kind of thing, and display them in a beautiful way, which is what it ended up being. So... What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? Uh, I would definitely say my favorite TV show when I was a child was anything on Cartoon Network. I am, um, as I said, f- TV and media and um, gaming wasn't a big thing in um, my family growing up. And the only place I would really get to watch TV, such as Cartoon Network, Disney Channel, was when I went to my aunt's. And I loved going to my aunt's because we would have pizza. We would do all the naughty things that you weren't allowed to do when I was at home. And that watched, that that also meant watching Cartoon Network. And I really loved the Powerpuff Girls and all those good 90s television. And so that was definitely my favorite. Um, I really love the CC content. Um, little martini glasses, little mugs and plates and the mortar and pestle. I love that. And the three little basket with the three little um, jugs in that, oh, my favorite. I'm so glad I placed that there. And if you are interested in any of the CC content used in this thing, in this video, not this thing, please let me know and I will list it below. And I will probably end up doing that with my videos carrying forward. But um, in this video, so here we see me trying to make a, a island 
um, which turned out really nicely, somewhere to sit and have breakfast, have brunch and um, just eat your meals. I thought that was a really cool idea. This Most of the CC that I use in this kitchen comes from a pack um, called Kitchen Stuff and um, I will link it below but it's an amazing pack and I would definitely recommend it um, and anything by the CC creator. For this, um, for my YouTube channel, I my goal for my YouTube channel is definitely just to make a platform where I can build and people can see my builds and maybe we can learn from each other. I just have this passion for The Sims and I think because I didn't get to game as a kid, um, I really appreciate it now. It's something quite wondrous to me and something that I partake in a lot. Um, I don't play a lot of other different video games. I find video games quite stressful um, and I don't really know how to navigate them. Things like Call of Duty and um, those kind of things, I find them very stressful and I don't like um, warfare games. So I enjoy quite relaxing games. I find The Sims very relaxing, especially when it comes to um, building because you can create anything and I think that's really cool. So I ended up using very large white tiles, trying to mimic um, how these these houses would have been tiled, and um, how these this this maybe when they came and renovated they chose a different kind of style. And here I'm just trying to do the um, living room. I'm starting to do it. I changed the living room up quite a bit um, because I was struggling to find what exactly the vibe was that I was going for. Um, I ended up on on resting on just a 70s um, modern renovation and um, I think I achieved something really beautiful in the end um I downloaded this retro wallpaper and I was itching to use it but it just didn't fit the space and I eventually changed it um I was struggling with the couches I didn't use any base game couches I used some CC couches but I did use some base game accessories and I think it came out really nicely. I end up making the so-called TV um, cabinet or TV um, unit out of um, some cupboards from the kitchen. Um, I try to get that sort of modern um, wall mounted unit and I think it came out really nicely. Here I am trying to figure out what accessory chair I wanted to use. I eventually settled on the CC one and I moved around quite a bit, but oh, that's one of my favorite part of the builds is um, is the corner corner with the sunlight streaming in. Um, it's really beautiful. So for this channel, as I said, I just, I really want just a space to express myself creatively, enjoy The Sims 4, have a great time and um, share it with people who who can relate to my stuff and maybe we can talk and Maybe later on I can do vlogging or I can do challenges or something cool. I think that YouTube should just be a space where people are able to come and talk and relate. And that's something that I really want to do. Um, so a little bit about me is I am turning 21 this year, as I said. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a 21st birthday with the way the coronavirus is going. But I think me sacrificing my 21st birthday is absolutely nothing compared to the sacrifices people have met, have to made. And I think that's what people need to remember. You need to put things into co into consideration of the rest of the world. So I am starting this in um, the middle of COVID-19, obviously because people like me are stuck inside trying to find a way to keep themselves occupied and many have turned to The Sims. Um, and I live in Cape Town. I'm currently a student. As I said, I'm studying my final year of English and history to do a postgraduate course to um, be an educator, a high school teacher. And I'm very excited. I love teaching. I tutor a lot of people and I love history and English. And I hope to one day publish some of my own books um, because that is definitely my passion. This little, if I could change only one thing about my build, however, it would be to take that plant out. <laughs> the plant bugs me and I wish I could take it out, but I'm not going to re reshoot the entire video to do it. Um, the plant annoys me. I wish I could take it out. Um, but the whole living room setup changes a million times. Me trying to figure out what is exactly I want the living room to look, I look like. Because um, it is the heart of the house in a lot of cases. People spend tons and tons and tons of time in the living room all together. And 
I think it's really important to make something that people would want to live in or realistically they would live in. Um, and I think a lot of mistakes that people make is they like individual items um, in their builds, but it doesn't mean those items go together. And I think it's important to remember that, um, which I did not remember in this particular build, but I do eventually redo it and it looks a lot better. Um, one of the things I change is underneath the TV, I take out that ridiculous dresser, which is really beautiful, but it's a dresser. It's meant for a bedroom, not really for the kit, for the for the living room, and I exchange it for a more modern wall mounted um TV cabinet. So the next question here on the list is, what is your biggest fear? I would say my biggest fear is heights. I cannot stand heights. I don't even want to put that into the world because I don't want something to happen one day but I absolutely hate heights. I hate the idea of falling from heights. I don't mind standing up on heights too much, but the idea of falling is just terrifying to me and I do not ever want it to happen. <laughs> so the next question is, are you a fan of any sports teams? Um, I would say no. Um, I would definitely say no because I don't really watch sports <laughs> at all. My girlfriend watches sports quite a lot. She's the sport fanatic in this relationship. And um, she actually played soccer for the high school's first team and then also for um, a club later on. So she would definitely say sports. And because um, her favorite sports, I mean, her favorite team, um, can you tell I don't watch sports? <laughs> her favorite team is the um, only one I know, um, it would be the, the Liverpool soccer team, so she's the only, that's the only one I know, so that's my favorite too, it says, are you a dog or a cat person, I would definitely say a cat person, I have two cats, um, one of them is not actually mine, the other one is my girlfriend, my cat is called Oreo, and I've had him since I was 15, he is a funny little man, if um, if a hermit or a hermit and an emo had a baby, it would be Oreo. He's very loving, but he is a very strange little man. Um, then the second cat is Chili, and he is the opposite. He's just feisty and spicy, and he's just an amazing little boy that's super friendly. He's about two or three. No, he's two this year, and he's just this an amazing little light, and he is the color of absolute fire. I love that boy. Um, it says another question, are you a good cook? I would say I'm a pretty good cook. Um, I try really hard. I've been cooking since I was a kid. Um, my mom encouraged me to be really independent. So I've been cooking for myself for a very long time. And I would say I have had my fair share of trial and error. I've had some very weird, um, mixtures that I, I still ate, um, I can remember making things and having absolutely no idea what goes together, but you figure it out through trial and error, you figure it out. Here I am figuring it out, the entrance hall. I do end up changing that mirror to something else. Um, I end up trying to figure out, moving the music box around, just trying to really figure out what goes best where. I like the idea of them having the little music box as if, you know, when they moved in, um, they uh, found this box and it was already in the in the build and they wanted to keep it and here is me trying to place clutter a lot of cc clutter i think it really makes the build look more lived in um, instead of just this stark build that anyone could live in it's more homely which i really like and um i think if i had to choose my favorite sims pack it would definitely be Seasons or Cats and Dogs. I really, really enjoy those two packs. And actually in my next build, I use those two packs majority to build my next build. I really enjoy that. So get together for the world, dogs, Cats and Dogs and Seasons. I really love those three. And um, I do use a fair bit of CC content. I don't think I'm as bad as a lot of CC content users, um, but I do use some. And um, of course, I will start listing it in my description. This is my first video, so I am going to struggle to find all the authors for it, but from now on, I definitely will. And here I am trying to figure out what to do in this hallway. I end up making that little chimney nook into a um, book, book, little book nook, somewhere that they stored their bookcase. Because I thought, you know, a chimney is not really something that people would have in this kind of climate. I mean, it's steaming hot, um, but it is a 
beautiful um, building accent. So that's why I kept it. Um, let's do another question. What has left the most impact on your life? That's a very deep one. I would definitely say um, just books in general, but especially history. And I would guess that just English teachers, history teachers, that kind of thing, um, I think they've left the most impact on my life because I um, have really looked up to the English and history teachers I've had like a lot of young queer people have, I think, um, they somehow become our role models. And um, I think they've probably had the most impact on my life. But here in the build, I'm trying out some different flooring. I really like this wood flooring. I'm trying to figure out how to sort of move the tiles to the to the wood. And I end up coming up with this very groovy little shape. Very, um, very interesting. I'm not totally happy with it, but it made sense at the time. And here I am back at the window, just having a look through the window, having a look at the world <laughs> and trying to figure out if I should put curtains up and ended up not putting curtains up just because I think it's more modern and um, I want the light to stream in truly. And um, here I am trying to figure out what to do with the lounge. I changed the lounge a million times, eventually settled on that wood panel because I felt that in the 70s I would have had a lot of wood paneling trying to bring in old aspects and blend it with new and here I am taking these horrible paintings from I think that's um the restaurant pack I'm not sure what it's called the horrible paintings from that pack and trying to make them better I do end up changing that um and um, I had a little outside area where you could maybe entertain, you know, grill your veggie dogs and uh, your veggie burgers. <laughs> I'm biased, but gr gr um, grilling your veggie things and just having a party. So this is definitely a build for um, maybe a, 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 a small family with a, maybe with one child or two children and um, some maybe just a young couple even and they could use a second bedroom as a study. So it's definitely a very family friendly build, um, by no means not. I was trying to figure out where to put the different bathrooms because it um, appeared to me that I still had not put a bathroom in and I definitely needed one. So there would definitely be an ensuite bathroom, which I put into the build there, but I wanted a main bathroom so the guests wouldn't have to go through your bedroom to go to the bathroom because I hate builds that and that do that kind of thing it's very poorly thought out um and very unprofessional you know because I strive for professionalism in my first video on my on my channel I really like the still macrame um woven mat um woven hanging mat because it really reminded me um of you know the 70s in America I mean I've never been to America but from the television it's that sort of old 70s decorations um a cowboy cowboy-esque um but that's the vibe I was going for and obviously in the bathroom you don't want a massive window because you don't want someone to literally be watching you as you go to the bathroom but I was trying to find just a little window just to let in some light um which that window does flawlessly there's me just quickly wandering my mouse all over that beautiful garden. Oh, I love that garden so much. I'm so proud of it. I'm proud of this build in general. Um, I've been showing a big improvement in my, as you can see, the pools disappeared. Um, I came, I saved and came back in and the pool was gone. So I do end up doing that again. And um, this is me just figuring out what on earth to put um, in that bedroom. Oh, and my umbrella disappeared, so I'm trying to find the umbrella. One thing I will criticize The Sims for is that they don't have a very logical sort of organizing system. Everything is in random categories, and oftentimes in that category twice, which is extremely annoying. And um, I wish that they would organize it a bit better. Or if anyone knows of a mod that organizes it, please let me know, because I definitely will install it. Um trying to figure out if um the pool was big enough for a jumping board I decided against it it wasn't really that kind of house um I feel like the very like posh house in Windenburg would have that though I didn't end up finding the umbrella at this point but I do end up putting it there beautiful orange umbrella 
so I put these steam makers in the pool not realizing that the steam would be outside of the pool and look like a horror movie so I do end up changing that I do end up taking them out because it looks like an absolute horror scene and not the vibe I was going through at all um I will say this I am a massive fan of the I think it's called stucco or stucco stucco it's a type of wall texture it is amazing it's extremely modern but at the same time being a little bit vintage and I really like that so I do end up using that in my build with the tile trim and without and I think it comes in the pack jungle adventure another really awesome pack I don't like the jungle adventure world I haven't played it and I probably will not play it um, I watched James Turner play it when it first came out and I think that sort of um, just was it for me I didn't want to play it myself I was in first year university at the time I remember I was watching it and um, it would come out every single day I think or when he first started playing it was every single day and then I think he he um, sort of played it every other day and I didn't have an oven and my mess hall where I ate was really far away so I would always sit in my bed and just have brown flakes um, or cereal for dinner and I would be eating my cereal watching James Turner play The Strongle Adventure and um, that was back when I still didn't have The Sims um, when I was living in residence which is you know at my university um, and it was just the funniest experience and since then I just decided I was never going to play it. Um, I'm not really one for Strangerville or Jungle Adventure. I'm not really one for those kind of gameplay. I prefer sort of family gameplay, making a long generational family. Building is my favorite. Um, but definitely not. My girlfriend did play Strangerville. I remember she played it. And I was playing a family at the time in Strangerville. And I remember those weird floaty alien things. And it was just really ugly to a very pretty world. And it really messed me up. Because I was angry that I couldn't just have this pretty world without this weird gameplay. So if you know a way to disable the gameplay, please let me know. Because I don't want to have to fight this monster at a bi-monthly basis. Just to have a nice world. I really don't. And um, here I'm remembering to put the bin in. A lot of people, builders, forget to put their bin, the bin in. And um, you end up with these weird piles of trash everywhere when you're trying to play your gameplay. Which is very annoying. Um... So here I am making the the ensuite bedroom. I ran out of money at this point. Um, I'm not really playing with the Sims, so I didn't feel bad about cheating some money in. And um, I'm just making this really nice ensuite bathroom for this for the Sim, who you know who end up end up ever ends up living here. And this really beautiful. I was trying to figure out if that wall of glass was too invasive, and I decided yes, it was. She needs some kind of privacy for her bed. I used this really beautiful, I knew exactly which bed to use, this really beautiful um, bed from CC Content, just with some textured linen, it was really cool. Um, with CC Content, I tend to only really use um, Nexus Match, I really don't try and use um, Alpha Content, I don't like it, I prefer The Sims for, I prefer The Sims 4, um, so art style to The Sims 3. And here I am making a nightmare for Mika to edit, my girlfriend. Um, because I was trying to find what to put on that dresser. And I did it for hours and hours. And she, she came and told me while she was editing. Because she's the person who edits. Um, she said that I was very annoying. So I'm going to try in my builds to not sanction through every single option there is. And um, I just put a little foot, uh, a shoe rest outside the door um, for people to put the shoes on. And just to make it look really homey. I really, really like that picture that I found and I put above her dresser. It just had the feel that I was going through for, for this bowl. Just like hot and neat and clean lines. And I thought maybe the person who lived here was a, an old Hollywood fan or a fan of movies. So I put some movie posters up as well. And then I decided to make a baseboard or a headboard for her out of the drawers. She can have some storage space. And um, I found these lovely curtains that when I, I scaled them up, they were this pale pink color, which really fit into the color scheme of this build that I was going through for her, for her room. I say her, but it could be him or it could be a her and a him or a him and a her, you know, whoever. Um, I really like that color. It's quite, quite nice and it fits really beautifully. 
and I was looking at reference images off screen on Pinterest and a lot of them had this beautiful corner room, uh, corner windows and it was just windows out onto the beautiful scenery and just sort of sitting at that chair and how nice and warm and comforting it must be. And um, I struggled to get pictures of this bulb because <laughs> it was always a heat wave. So there were these funny like heat circles everywhere. I end up changing the wallpaper in the bathroom to that really nice Sims 4 one. Um, I really enjoyed that. And we're close, getting close to the end of the build. But I want to thank you for clicking on this video and watching it and supporting me. And please consider subscribing and sharing because... Um, I really want to continue making content like this and I really hope you enjoy my content. That being said, um, I hope to see you in the next video. I will be posting the next one pretty soon. I have quite an exciting idea. Um, I saw this one picture on Pinterest and based my entire concept off of it. But I will tell you more about that build when it happens. Um, I think I'm just completing what I imagine to be a kid's room, you know, in case it was a single dad or single mom. Um, a single parent with their with their kid and this is where I start putting down the final details so in the children's bedroom I have this really cute um, painting that I used in the main bedroom as well and I um, eventually go back to the swatch with the two little bears watching the man jump because um, I thought it was quite a cute swatch um, sort of like an adventure um, we have this beautiful CC armchair that I used um, and it matches the curtains, which I thought was really cool with a single bed. And um, a little poof, which you can actually place items on. Um, but I ended up using just as like a little corner poof. And this room was sort of just for the child. Or I think you can even fit two beds in there if you move the bookcase. Um, it could be a two bedroom, it could be a baby room. It could even be an office if you really wanted it for that. Um, and after this, I'm just going to move on to the outside and put the lights in, just the final touches um, for a while. And then I, at the end, I'll do just a sort of a bunch of stills so you can have a real good look at everything that's built and so on. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.